Today we're going to talk about time management because trust me, you can fit more stuff into your day. As someone who has a lot of side projects on outside of work, I've been forced to get good at time management. It's not something that comes naturally to me, I'm very easily distracted normally, but I've learned some ways to fit in all the things that I want to do alongside my day job. So I thought today I would share them in case you've got some side project ideas you want to work on as well, and maybe this will help you out. My first tip for you, and you're probably not going to like it, and that is you need to be waking up early to work on your side projects before you leave for work or school. I've already made a video about how to have a productive morning that gives you advice for getting into a routine like this, but Basically, you just need to wake up a little bit earlier and go to bed a little bit earlier every single day until you end up with a few hours time in the morning to get stuff done. It is so much better to work on your personal projects in the morning when your brain is fresh and you're not all tired from your day job. Trust me, I used to be a night owl, so I know that some of you watching this are probably thinking this is impossible right now, but I eased myself into waking up at 5.30 every morning and I can honestly tell you that I am so much more productive and just generally a happier person now that I do my work in the morning rather than into the early hours. Getting up early gives me two main chunks of time I can get stuff done in my day. One before work and one after work. My next tip is to take the big things you need to do and break them up into smaller tasks so you can fit them into these chunks of time in your day. Say for example I need to make a video this week, like I do every week. Instead of putting make a video on my to-do list, I break it up into much more manageable pieces. It may not seem like it, but making a video takes hours and hours of work, and I don't have like an eight hour spare chunk free in my week. So instead of sitting down and making a video from start to finish, I break the process up into the little chunks, and then those pieces can just fit in wherever possible throughout my week. Think of it like this. Say this jar is your time. First you need to fill it with the unmovable things you have to do, like sleep, work, take care of your family and your health, there's no room in there to fit another big chunk of time, which is why you might be feeling like you just can't get enough done. But there is lots of space for much smaller things. Breaking big tasks up into smaller pieces is also really helpful if you're a goal-driven person, because it means you get to mark more off your to-do list. And speaking of to-do lists, you definitely should have one, whether it's written by hand or if it's a digital one, it's something you need to do. There are loads of different apps out there to try and see which one is going to be the best fit for you. I really love using this one called To Do. It's clean and simple and lets me plan out my tasks for the week. I also use Trello to keep a big picture list of the things that I want to work on in one place so that all my ideas can be captured there together. Another big tip for time management is when you've broken your tasks down into small pieces, to experiment with which time of day is most productive for you to work on them. Now I already said that I'm most productive in the morning, that's when I work on things like design projects or video editing, anything more creative like that. When I get home from work I'm generally far too tired to work on that sort of thing, but that doesn't mean that I can't do anything. In the evenings is when I do the more boring tasks, the admin type things like uploading a video, uh, laying out a blog post, filling in a description box, things like that that don't require a whole lot of brain power. Also with having a list of small tasks to tick off, I can slip extra bits of productivity into my day. On my commute for example, on the train, I can be writing a blog post or writing out some video ideas, planning that to make use of the time. The point is you should experiment with when you're most productive so that each task can be the best possible use of your time at the moment that you're doing it. It will take practice and it will be hard at first, but it is really important to keep making small steps to move towards your goals. With side projects, there's no one watching over you and telling you off if you don't do something. You have to be accountable to yourself and to your goals. I really hope these time management tips will help you out with that. If you've got any questions about them or if you want to share something in particular that you're struggling with to do with time management, please leave it down below in the comments because I'd love to make more videos like this. It's something that I'm quite passionate about. If you enjoy my videos, I'd love it if you went and checked out my online store. I don't have ads on my videos anymore because I think they make for a bad experience, so picking up a t-shirt or a notebook is a really great way to support this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week for another design video.